What's going on guys? Today we're going to be learning about how to turn any image into a custom brush here in Photoshop. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Brendan from Outbound Media and you can find me on Instagram at Burnwells. Before I get started, I just wanted to let anyone who's new here know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. So if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today what we're going to be talking about is how to create custom brush presets from an image. So in this case, we're going to be creating a brush preset out of this lightning bolt and we're also going to create a brush preset out of this waterfall. This technique I think is super awesome because then you have the ability to create really awesome and unique brushes that aren't downloaded from anywhere else. So you can have your own brushes that no one else has. It's totally up to you uh, what those brushes might be. So the first image that I'm going to turn into a brush is this lightning bolt. So basically what I want to become the brush is all of the, pretty much just this lightning here. I don't want any of the sky or the, the city here. I just want this lightning bolt. So then I can put it into this image here. I want to have more lightning bolts coming out of the side or something like that. And I'm going to create a brush with this bolt here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to narrow down the selection of my image so then only the area that I'm wanting to use is being selected. So in this case I only really want the lightning and maybe a little bit of the sky to be selected. I want to try to get rid of everything else. So the easiest way to do that in this case since we're trying to get the light and get rid of the dark is we'll cut this out with using our channels. So I'll just go over here to my channels tab and go through and see which one has the most contrast. So in this case the red channel has the most contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that red channel by just clicking and dragging down to this new layer icon and now what I'm going to do to make the blacks a little bit darker and the whites a little bit lighter is I'm just going to press command L for my levels and I'm just going to bring up my blacks so it gets rid of some of that stuff and then I'm going to bring up my whites just a little bit. So now we're pretty much breaking this down so then Photoshop has an easier time to recognize what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. Perfect. So now I'll just click OK and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Command and I'm going to click on my red copy uh, picture here. Now we get all these marching ants. I'll just go back to my layers and I'm just going to add a layer mask to my layer. So now as you see we have everything cut out except our lightning bolt. Now if I hold Alt and I click on my layer mask, this is what our layer mask looks like. Of course everything that is white is visible while everything that is black is totally transparent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint with a black brush and I'm just going to get rid of all the areas that I don't want to see anymore. So in this case, the city just down below there and then also um, I might just touch up around the lightning a little bit. If there's any sort of weird pieces that are sticking out, I might just try to get rid of those. In this case, I want, I'm going to keep the clouds because I sort of like the glow that it will give around our lightning bolt. So from here we now have our image broken down really plain and simply on our layer mask. So now I'm just going to exit this layer mask view by holding alt and clicking again. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go and we're going to create our brush. So the first thing that we have to do is we, we have to create a new document. So I'm going to just press command N to open up a new document. And I'm going to make this document 500 by 500 at 150 pixels per centimeter with a white background. Now I'll just click create. So now once you've opened this document, you should have this little square that's just white. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our lightning here. And I'm going to grab my move tool by pressing V and I'm just going to click and drag it into this 500 by 500 layer here. I'll press command zero just so I can see everything and now I'm just going to size down my lightning bolt so then everything fits inside of my new canvas here. So I, I'm just going to keep bringing down the size until everything is fitting nicely. So something like this looks pretty good to me. And maybe I'll just rotate it just a little bit so then I can get, have it going across my canvas here and then I can get a little bit more of the lightning bolts without having to make it even smaller. So now I'll just click OK. So now Photoshop won't really recognize this as a brush, but it will once we fill it with black. So we're going to fill this layer with black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my foreground color black and I'm just going to hold Alt and Delete. And now everything that is in my lightning layer is now black. So from here what we can do is now we can go up here to edit and then down here to define brush preset. I'll just click that and now I'm just going to name this to lightning. And I'll click OK. And so now if I go over here to my image that I want to add more lightning to, if I grab my brush tool and then if I go all the way down to the bottom of my brushes here, you'll see I have this weird looking brush but now if I paint with white you'll see that I have just created a lightning bolt as a brush. No matter where I click, I have this lightning bolt. It's sort of a cool effect that we have just made a custom brush out of our lightning bolt. 
But yeah, now I can add these to a new layer and I can just add a brush. I can just add a bolt of lightning over here and then maybe I'll rotate my canvas by pressing R and I'll just maybe add another one right here. And then now I might just erase out some of the little lightning here so then it doesn't look like the same piece of lightning. So now if I just turn these on and off you'll notice that I have made some super realistic looking lightning because we made a brush from an image that was actually real. So doing this will definitely make your brushes look way more real compared to some of the brush packs that you can download online that seem to be sort of like computer generated or something like that. This way you're creating a brush that is out of something that is actually real. So now let's do the same thing but now with our waterfall. So what I'm going to do here is, of course, uh, I want to just select out my water here. So I'm going to use my channels again. So I'm just going to go to my channels and I'm going to go through and find the one that has the most contrast. In this case, my blue channel has the most contrast. So I'm going to duplicate my blue channel by clicking down and dragging it to my new layer icon. I'll create a blue copy. Now I'll press Command L and then I'm just going to bring up the darks until most of, mostly everything around is black and then I'll bring up the highlights so then my my waterfall is all white and stuff like that. Cool. And now I'll just click OK. I'm going to hold Command, click on my layer image here, and I'll just go back to my layers tab. Now I'll just add a layer mask. And now what I can do is I can just mask out all this extra areas that I don't want. So I'll just look, I'll just view my layer mask to do this. So I'm just going to hold Alt, click on my layer mask, grab my brush tool, and I'm going to use a soft brush, and I'm just going to paint black with the soft brush all around the areas that I don't want to see anymore. So I don't want these to be a part of my brush preset for my waterfall. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just go through really quickly and just sort of mask out all those areas that you're not really needing. So in this case, I don't really care about these rocks. Maybe just a little bit of the water is all I need. And then, uh, of course, the little rock wall on the other side I don't need as well. So that looks good there. So now I'll just exit this view by holding Alt clicking on my layer mask. Now I'm ready to put this onto my 500 by 500 canvas. So I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to go back to my original canvas that I used my lightning layer on. I'm just going to delete my lightning. And now I'm just going to go back to my waterfall, press V and drag and drop onto this layer. I'll press Command 0 so then I can view my entire waterfall image. And I'm just going to rescale it so then it fits within my new canvas here. So that's looking good right there. I, I kind of want it to fill up the height of my canvas. Um, so then I'm getting like the most bang for my buck, I guess you could say. Cool. So that looks awesome there. And now, of course, um, so Photoshop can recognize this as a brush preset. I'm going to fill this layer with black. So I'm going to make black my foreground color, and I'm just going to hold Alt Delete to fill this layer with black. So now what I can do from here is just like before, we just go up here to edit and then down here to define brush preset. I'm going to name this to waterfall and I'll click OK. And so now when I grab my brush tool, you see that I have this waterfall looking shaped brush. So now if I just go back to one of my images here and I'll just create a new layer, fill it with black so then I can just paint something so then I can just show you guys this brush. If I just scale this up and I just click, you'll see that now we have a brush that is just exactly like the waterfall that we had. So of course you don't want to go too crazy and scale it up because it won't look super crispy but within the right size parameters it works really really well and now we have created our own waterfall brush like how cool is that so anyways guys that's how you can create brush presets from any of your images so then this is a really awesome technique so then you can sort of get some interesting new brushes that are totally free you don't have to buy any brush packs you can make them all yourself if you like this tutorial, I would love if you hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. If you're wanting to see more of my work, make sure to visit my website at outboundmedia.net. Or if you're more of an Instagram kind of person, find me on Instagram at burnwells. Again, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media and this is all I have for you guys for this week. But I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then. I don't wanna be in love.